Good morning! It's Sailing Big Bird. I am uh, a couple miles out of Duluth right now, heading to the Apostle Islands. Got up at the crack of dawn, got to watch the sunrise over the lake. It's still behind the jib there somewhere. Just heard a security call because there's a freighter coming in. Um, looks like I got 42 miles to go to Sand Island. But yeah, we're uh, cruising along, just motor sailing, just putt putt, sail sail, putt putt, sail sail, putt putt, sail sail. Um, yeah, there's uh, just a wonderful morning to be out in the water. Making progress. We're uh, cruising along at a wonderful five knots and change. But yeah, the got rid of all my aquatic hitchhikers, and now here I am on my way. Got the sailboat Escape. Might see them on the horizon there. They uh, came out with me. Uh, Powacket is supposed to leave. He still had to go to the grocery store. So he'll catch up with us later. Sailboat Impromptu is already in the islands. They left yesterday. Um, so yeah, we're just uh, cruising along, making progress. We'll be uh, rolling into the Apostles at about uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, thereabouts. Probably go by the first island at about 1. But yeah, it's nice. There's a little wind out here, not much, which is why I'm uh, motoring. It's like, oof, it's a whole five miles an hour over the stern post here. Just enough to get, you know, something in the jib. But it's helping, but it's not gonna, if I didn't have the uh, motor running, I'd be doing about two knots. So I don't feel like taking an entire day to get there. But yeah, we're cruising along. Duluth way in the background there. There's the North Shore. House is over there someplace. There's a freighter coming right over there somewhere. Um, had one freighter go by already. They actually, uh, right as we were on our way out, we had to wait for them to clear the clear the pier so that we could go out. And we had a bunch of fishing people go out after us. But yeah, the, it's a beautiful morning to be out in the water. Waves are a whole foot, one foot. Just enough wind to put in the jib. This is my thing from yesterday. Put a cabin top winch on here. Because it's one of those things you just really need to have. Trust me. If you can't run your rigging back, it's not worth it. But yeah, the putting along, we're making progress. Putting miles under the keel. Um, I'll probably check in with you later, see how things are going. Talk to you later. Well, it's been a couple hours. We're about five miles shy of Port Green right now. Uh, two Harbors is over there somewhere, I think. Um, I had to roll the jib in because it just wasn't doing any good. It was just flopping. And now I'm thinking I might pull it back out because it looks like the wind switched more out of the south again. Although boat relative wind speed is four miles an hour so it was down to two so it's actually that's an improvement but um cruising along I think the waves are settling a little bit hard to say um but yeah making progress the put 20 some miles under the keel already this morning which is about right I've been out here for three hours three and a half hours um, yeah, cruising along. Escape is still just ahead of me. Um, when I was actually using the jib, I almost caught him, but my throttle set a little lower than them, so, so I just doing five and a half, burning dinosaurs. 
everything looks super happy down there. So, according to this, I got 29 miles to go to get to Sand Island. Although I don't know exactly where I set that. I suppose I could look. I think I probably set it a little past, but we'll see. But anyway, I will talk to you guys again later. So, still cruising along here. Put the jib out, had to roll it back in, and now in the last hour, the max wind I've had over the stern is three miles an hour. Which is why I'm still burning dinosaurs. I would be going about two miles an hour. So, kicking along, it's uh, 11.30, been out for six hours now, I think, thereabouts. Uh, it says I got 16 more miles to go to get to Sand Island. Um, but yeah, the waves settled down a little bit. They're about a foot. They topped out at about a foot and a half. But this isn't bad. I mean, for a burning dinosaur strip, it's not bad. Yeah, when I had the sail up, I actually got up over seven knots for a little while. But that's like right now, wind speed two. That's not enough. Um, but yeah, the my buddies are still up there and they're on the horizon. Cruising along, I'm thinking about lunch, but I don't know what I want. I might just eat some more grapes. Those are good. Sounds like Laddie ran over a rope with his prop and uh, Mark broke his stove somehow or another. So, you know, everything's been uh, just being an interesting day. Uh, hopefully Laddie will be joining us. He's got to get that rope untangled from his prop first. And he had to get uh, clear water to do that. But we'll see how that goes. Um, probably give him a call a little bit later. See how he's doing, see where he's at. But anyway, this is Big Bird and we're still sailing. Well, I'm still sailing. Whatever. Talk to you later. So, this is Adventures of Big Bird, Sailing Big Bird, and whatever else it is. Um, sitting here anchored in Justice Bay now. Um, sailed for like nine hours or something like that. And came around, this is Sand Island, right behind us here. And this is Justice Bay in on Sand Island. There's actually six sailboats in here right now. Um, ironically, I know four of them. And then there's a seventh boat coming in right there probably that one um that's a, another person i know so yeah it's like uh okay that's laddie just coming in 99 problems is over there uh way is just in front of me and then escapes just in front of them so there's actually uh gonna be four boats from one marina and then i don't know where 99 problems hails from and he's in minnesota slipper partners or something like that but anyway yeah we have uh just i mean three of us were planning to be here well actually i suppose 99 problems was too but then i had no idea i was gonna run into scott <laughs> and it's just like oh there's scott wolfie and the other kid i haven't met yet but yeah the uh <clears throat> laddie got a rope wrapped around his prop when he was leaving and he had to dive down and get that all fixed up and he got out late because he had to go to the grocery store before he left but here he comes um and the sun's going down actually the sun already is down um i see a couple of well that's actually probably a planet but yeah there's a uh, stars are coming out the flies finally went away it's kind of awesome in here right now uh the waves coming across uh kicked up to about a foot and a half two foot range uh, right as I was coming around the end of the island but in this bay it's really nice and sheltered um, winds coming right offshore I think I've got about one inch of uh, sea right now and just a little light swell coming out of the north which I am totally fine with can't really see it behind me but there's sea caves over there um, maybe I'll do a little video in the morning because it's actually a really cool little spot um, I believe if you go right behind me over there is the mainland. 
that should be York Island. And there's a couple lighthouses in the distance over there. And I see, it uh, looks like a ship way off in the distance. I would check on the uh, internet to see which one it is, but I'm in the middle of nowhere. There is no internet. But yeah, so it was a great sail today. Um, nine hours under the keel, and then uh, now I'm just ready to start my uh, several day adventure in the Apostle Islands. Solo. So yeah, I got, uh, got here and I just wanted to take a nap, and that's what I did. So. Had something to do with waking up at 4.30 in the morning and kicking off the dock by 5.30. You know, kind of makes you tired sometimes. But, anyway, I'll be back to you later. Uh, sailing Big Bird. I'm not back 16, I shut my radio off. So, later.